Thank you for coming. Uh, I guess things cannot always be perfect. Uh, I, I'm actually a person who's been very spoiled. I think life is always perfect. Uh, working with Jen Cortez, organizing these wonderful events, and I just sit back and I'm realizing, you know, uh, the truth in the hard way that she's not here. Uh, this event, really, we have been trying to put it together. We did not know uh, how to go about it. Uh, Mel Edward ma and myself, Leonardo, Randy Weston, uh, Zaira Placid, we've been thinking about doing something, and we thought of all kind of s s scenarios, but uh, it was not, we were not pulling it together until one day uh, at the Cooper Union, at a memorial for uh, Jane, uh, Amiri was there. And uh, Amiri said, you know, instead of always coming to cry about people saying, telling stories, you should just bring po poets together and let's have a poetry night. And uh, I thought about it and traveled somewhere to Africa or someplace, and then I came back and I called Mel and uh, Zaira back. I said, I think we should really uh, take Amiri seriously. Uh, I remember it, one time Amiri ran into me in Greenwich Village. I just went to him and said, hello, Amiri, how are you doing? He said, well, what are you asking me for? He said, because, you know, I want to know how you're doing. You know, he said, well, you haven't invited me at NYU. You know, you the, you know he used that word, you know, like, you know, uh, head nigger in charge. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and, and I invited Amiri, and, you know, talking about things being perfect, he did artist in residence here. Some of you may have attended that. You know, he told me, he didn't invite me. I said, okay, come on, and he came, and he brought many of these poets at that time and uh, had an evening on poetry, an evening on uh, music, which was incredible, and... Uh, an evening just on the black art movement and the youth and so on. And it's one of the most memorable things that happened at NYU here. So when Amiri said, bring poets, let's celebrate Jane, I said, okay, Amiri, as usual, you organize it, I just pay you. <laughs> and Amiri said, okay, so we were at Nickerbocker with uh, Lynn Whitfield. And... Uh, uh, Lynn was at Howard University, some of you may already know that, uh, doing theater and uh, knew Baraka very well in a very good relation. Everybody was very happy that evening. It's just, uh, it, it was, this was in uh, the end of the semester, end of November, early December. So Amiri said, okay, I, I will do it. And all the people here, actually, Amiri invited them, talked to them, because you know how difficult it would have been for me to bring them, you know, to pay them, to do all these things. But Amiri wrote to all of them, told them what was going to happen, and then Amiri left us. This is what I mean by, you know, things can be perfect. You know, things cannot always be perfect. And I guess, you know, I should get used to that now, because I've been really spoiled by this group of people, Amiri, Ted Jones, Jane Cortez, uh, I can, you know, Sonia Sanchez, since the beginning when I came to this country, you know, they just spoiled me, but I'm, begin, I'm getting my hard reality <laughs> slowly. Uh, you know, Haki was somewhere here, and so on, uh, Quincy, Quincy. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, people who spoil you and you think that life is just perfect. It's easy, all you have to do is, uh, you know, say I want this. And, Reality is here. Uh, I want to thank, of course, Mel Edward, who's somewhere here. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, really a uh, great guy. That's all I can say. And a good friend. Uh, Mel's family is over here, Donaldo, and his wife and child. Uh, I'm told that Russ is going to be here uh, at some point, but with the time, uh, you know, we don't know. Uh, and 
Sonia could not make it again with the weather. A few people dropped out because of the weather. You know, Walter Mosley, Sonia, and you know, they are in places where they stuck, they cannot uh, travel. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, my sister, uh, Dr. Uh, Rashida Ismail, poet, <laughs> uh, playwright, professor, uh, but most of all, my sister, she's going to run the evening. She had, she volunteered for a long time ago, and uh, she's just going to take care of us. Uh, Rashida, the floor is yours. I think the first thing we have to do is to thank Jaira, because um, it wasn't easy to pull this together, and she always does such a great job. So let's just thank Jaira Placid. And we have to uh, acknowledge and be grateful for the presence of Amiri Baraka and Jane Cortez. And for those of us, <laughs> for those of us who had the pleasure of traveling with them all these years, um, uh, maybe maybe that that history and those experiences that, that those times um, will help us get through um, these moments of, of loss, um, uh, the pain, etc. cetera. Um, it, it, you know, it's, it really, uh, really isn't easy. Um, anyway, um, Jane and, and, and Amiri were like bookends for me because I could talk to Jane almost about anything and she shared very, very, very much with me. Um, but I could, I could uh, quarrel with both of them. In, in, you know, we could argue back and forth and, and you, could, you could say things, you know, and they would understand and sometimes you didn't have to say it. And 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 you 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 could call you know and you could say well my God what's going on and they were there and and they always gave um, a, a very wise advice a very wise answer so the poets and people that you see uh, here are those who walked with both um, Amiri and Jane and we want to also thank um, her family for for sharing them because when you think about it a lot of times they were always they were on the road they'd come in from California and two seconds later they were going somewhere else and it does take uh, you know people miss their their family members and when you go somewhere and someone says oh yeah I saw da 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 and uh, you know it's it's it we we have to thank them we have to thank them for sharing them and for loving them s and giving them uh, a loving space that they could do the work that we so greatly admire. Um, and I, th I, I thank all of you for coming and I acknowledge all the, the writers who have come to uh, show their respect to both Amiri Baraka and, um, and Jane Cortez. 